Welcome back to Cindy's Library. This is Cindy. <sighs> I apologize. I missed another week. I ended up spending a week at my sister's place and didn't get a video done before I left. But I'm back now. We are going to talk about what I have read so far for the month of June. It's been a bit slow, but we have completed a few things. So let's get to it. First of all, I read The Clouds by Aristophanes. Why did I read it, might you ask? Don't usually read Greek literature. It is because I am reading Gulliver's Travels. And, well, let's just say there's some evidence that Jonathan Swift was very uh, influenced by the clouds in his third part of his story. So, read the first two parts. I read the clouds. I am ready for the third part. Let's see what else I have read. Uh, the Real James Harriet, A Memoir of My Father by Jim Wright. Uh, this is just sweet. James Harriet was in real life Alf or Alfred White. Uh, some of the names, exact locations, uh, people were described in different ways from real life. Like a woman might be a man or vice versa or might talk about um, one particular farm when the person actually really lived in the town or vice versa, things like that. But as far as what happened and the character behind these people, all from true life it appears. Anyway, this talks about how James Harriet became, or Alfred Wright became James Harriet. Uh, was actually born in England, but within a few months was brought up to Scotland to live. I want to say Glasgow, where he grew up, and in spite of the Great Depression, had a wonderful life there, and had a very supportive mother as far as academics and finding a place in the world. So he managed to get into veterinary school and pass. And the rest, as they say, is history. Except he never would have imagined the fame that came from finally being a successful author. And from everything I read in here, he is pretty much just as wonderful in real life as James Harriet was in the books. And I'm so glad he wrote them. It gives us a wind on a different world. Perhaps one main emphasis, well, his son knew about his father as a veterinarian. But it was in writing this biography of his father that he came to appreciate his father's writings. Not that he just didn't appreciate them before, but it's, it's a bit different when you're writing yourself. And the other point he would make is that, uh, well, as Alf would say, he's 99% veterinarian, 1% writer. And everyone who knew him recognized that. Uh, don't say that the people in the York side, Yorkshire Dales and his town didn't know about his writing, but what they knew him was as a veterinarian and as their friend and as a good man. See, 
Ah, then we have this. Now, I'm not done with it yet, but I'm through part two, so we've made some progress. <laughs> ah, the sad part is I had about a four to five hour drive to my sister's house and back, and well, one hour I did not listen to that. But the rest of the time I did. And I'm only finished with part two after all of that time listening. <laughs> oh. But I am reminded of how wonderful the world of Roshar is. Characters, Dalinar, uh, Shalon, uh, Caitlin. I love the characters. So wonderful and such an imaginative world. And yet, can't really say there's info dump. There are the occasional flashbacks for reasons, but I'm having a good time, but it is a long book. <laughs> And then I finished volume two of the Unselected Journals of Emma M. Lyon by Beth Brower. So we get the next couple months of Emma's life. She is officially on call now to help her aunt in debuting her cousin. Uh, which means a lot of teas and dinners and cards and dances, none of which Emma particularly likes. And <laughs> ah, deflecting the wrong men away from her cousin, otherwise being invisible, things like that. Uh, well, she and Unc Cousin Archibald have come to an arrangement, which is well, considering they both live at Lappy's Lazul in St. Crispin's. Relations have not improved at all. Nope. And we get to meet the tenant, and we get to meet a few new people. So... Very, very fun. I love Emma. Ah, would love to read more of her. Anyway, that is what I have read for the first half of June. How is your June reading going? I hope it's been going well. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. So until next time, I hope we all stay safe and healthy. And as always, happy reading.